Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I got a video today to show you um, some stuff that I bought over the month. Um, I'm really happy to see that I got this. I didn't think I'd get this for a couple of months because, you know, they don't really announce anything. Well, I mean, they do, but it's kind of hard to find when they when they announce it and where, where it goes. Um, so I recently got this on um, Walmart. On their website i saw that they only had four left i didn't even know that this thing was out yet and not many people have it from what i know um i don't know if you can get it in stores or anything but uh, right now walmart has it on their website um so i thought uh i'd show you guys this and um uh, do an unboxing of it maybe um, but I got some other stuff to show too. Um, I was able to get the, uh, the series, the black series figures on eBay. Um, shoot. I, because I know that there's a lot of scalpers out there, but, um, I didn't know when or where I was going to find these because I tried looking and I couldn't find them where I normally would look. So I didn't know how many were going to be available and I saw that on eBay they were slowly kind of going away. And um, I decided just to get them online and I got them for $40, $40 altogether, which is, you know, what the a scalper's price, but... It was okay. I mean, it was $15 extra, but they all came in good condition. Um, this, the MSRP price for that is apparently like $10, $12 or something. And Walmart's selling it for $30. But like I said, you know, uh, this is a good a good thing to have. And it's a good collectible. And um, who knows where you're going to find it again or if it's ever going to be available. So, I just got it. Now, if it was like 80, 60, no. But, for what it is, I think it's okay. It has all the custom guns and, you know, the. I think it's, uh, I don't know if it's Halo 3 or Halo 2, but I'm pretty sure it's Halo 2 because of the, the SMGs. Which, that's my favorite game is Halo 2. Um... But yeah, here's the um, Claptrap from Borderlands 3. Even though Borderlands 3 wasn't the greatest game for their campaign, but it was still a good game. Um, Predator, I haven't personally seen the Predator movies, but as you can see, these are pretty detailed. Here's another Predator figure. You can get that in the light better. Um, God of War. My friends used to play this game a lot. I never personally played it, but I know it has a lot of things to do with women and monsters and crap like that. Um, here's Raphael, I believe. Yep. Um, now he's pretty highly detailed. I thought it'd be cool just to have. I haven't ever had any of those the turtles figures because uh never was appealing to me but this one's pretty good so i'm quite happy about that um i don't think you guys got a good look on this either the uh the plastic on this one i think is almost the same as the the warthog one with the the hunters but um, um I think it's pretty good. I think the the Master Chief with the, the Hunters is a little bit better quality. But this one has more detail and stuff. The Operator isn't very... It's that like kind of weird plastic that's not that great. But, I don't know. I think it's okay. But all the guns and stuff look pretty detailed. Which I can't really see right now. Um, so yeah, that's where I got that stuff. 
Um, I got a ton of other stuff too that I've been able to find. And this video is kind of more of a, a Q and A, you know, just trying to talk about things because, you know, not a lot of people talk about where they find things or um, how much it, or where where they get it, how they get it. Um, this one I got an eBay. This one's for just to customize my figures better and stuff because I got a bunch and this one had a bunch of the different colored armors and stuff. Um, the, this one came with a, where this helmet right here is kind of janky. You can kind of see it like the little side thing right there is kind of like crapped up, but I don't think it really matters because everything else in here matters. Um, so I got those. So from what I know, Walmart was never selling um, uh, naked constructs anymore. And because I think five months ago, I got into getting mega construct stuff. I mean, I was getting them during the time when, uh, right when uh, Toys R Us canceled. Um, and I just got figures that were just cool to me. And I didn't get a lot. So I only got like maybe eight figures during that time. But I got most of the rare ones. Um, but, uh. What happened is, um, five months ago, I decided to, um, to go into Dollar General or something to get something, and I found the, I think they're called Series 10, it's the one with, like, the 10 figures, had, like, the orange grunt king thing, and then it had, a Noble 6, the recruit. Um, cat and a bunch of, uh, like Arbiter and all that, and they had all of them there. And I'm like, holy shit, these are highly detailed. I never knew they were making these things still. So I bought all of them there. Well, no, I didn't buy them all, but I bought one of each. And then I looked online, and they're going for like thirty dollars a piece. And I decided to buy a whole lot more to save them. And then I started doing that, and I realized that was just stupid to just buy a bunch and just keep it to sell later on or something so i stopped that because i didn't want to be considered a scalper but um then i started finding out where you find them and stuff so later on walmart stopped selling them and i couldn't find out where or why or where could i find any more of these things but i found out walmart didn't sell them but right now walmart apparently are selling figures and stuff because i found these the Masters of the Universe set, and a whole thing of the Call of Duty Series 4, and a whole bunch of others, and a, a whole um, box of the blind bags. Now, it's not the newest blind bags, which I really want to find, but um, it had these, and I spent a while trying to find the, the grunt, because that's what really mattered to me, was the grunt. Um, so I think I felt a couple of them, and I think I found maybe two, maybe three. And then I know that I got, me hopefully, only Elite, and I think I got one Marine, and then the rest is kind of just random. I just made sure that I could get a Grunt. That's really all that mattered. Um, so I got a couple of those. But the good news is that Walmart is now selling figures. Um, here's this one. I got this one because, uh, it's like a pilot, and I don't know if I would want to use this for, like, uh, scenes for when the new Pelican comes in or something. Um, just to make more customs and stuff, because I thought the helmet was cool and all that. Um, all these other figures I bought just because there really wasn't a need to buy them, but because I don't really know what the Masters of the Universe is, but I thought, well, Mega Constructs doesn't really come out with a lot of new things. It takes them a long time to do stuff like this, so I thought, well, I have the money, and it's not really that big of a deal, so I'll just get them. Um, 
so that's what I got so far. Um, but yeah, you can find stuff like that at Dollar General, uh, Target for sure, but Target only has like certain sets. You won't really find a lot of the different things, like a lot of the different blind bags and all that. You'll still find things at Wal uh, Target, but what you see at Target is at every other Target, pretty much. Uh, but at the Dollar General, it's almost like a lottery. You... They pretty much sell relatively the same things, but uh, but not like what ha they have at Target. From Target and Dollar General, they're completely different of what you find. Um, so what you find at Dollar General, you'll never find in a Target, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, but what I'm thinking about is opening these up for you guys. Um... Because I'm not sure if I really want to open up all the other stuff right now. Or I think I'd rather do that alone. But, um... Oh, I also bought one of these alien things because I haven't seen these yet. And I, I should have spent more time looking at it. Because uh, I think that you could tell what you're going to get. But I'm not too sure. I, I couldn't really tell from when I was quickly looking at them so I just grabbed one and plus I thought it'd be more fun to get a random one anyways because I kind of cheated with these um yeah that's pretty much all I got over the week I got some other stuff a while back but I don't know if I need to show that yet um because I thought it'd be more cool to show the the new 2020 stuff but, like, you know, the new sword base and all that, you can find that all at Dollar General and the, the Marines, too. When I saw that, I bought a bunch of those. But what I've been able to find at, like, what have really rare things is Ross and Marshalls. Now, Ross and Marshalls, um, they have pretty much... It, that one's just the randomest lottery you can find. You can either find something really rare or just something really crappy. And let's just say I was able to find um, the Covenant uh, Wraith set for like 20 bucks there. And that was like two months ago. Um, there's a bunch of different like Warthog sets that you can find. A bunch of the uh, Mongoose sets too. Um, which are relatively not really that good but there were a lot of call of duty sets for like three or four dollars and i'm talking about the ones that have like the landscapes too so i bought a bunch of those so now i got a bunch of pieces that have the the, the landscape stuff so i got a bunch of the plants and all that and base plates and things but that was pretty cool and i bought a bunch of hornets too i found like a bunch of those for like eight dollars and right now on eBay, they're almost going for 30 or 40. I'm quite happy with that. Um, looks like I got the ship. Um, as you can see, the ship. I don't know where you can really see it better. Um, I don't need to build that right now. Um, but, uh, so we started going to all the the marshals and stuff, and it was kind of cool to go to the Dollar Generals because each Dollar General has a little bit more or a little bit less, but each one pretty much has different stuff, and it's always interesting to see what you can find there because you can find some pretty rare stuff there. Um, looks like I just got a blue figure. Nothing that special. It's kind of blurry. Sorry. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been able to find. Um, Target, some have rare stuff. I know where, well, where I live, I live in California, so it might be different where you are. I know, like, Australia and stuff have a really hard time trying to get constructs and things. Um, which sucks. And I think I sold a few construct stuff because I really didn't need it. Um, and 
I put it for international or whatever because I knew that there were people that really wanted this stuff and they were having a hard time over there. So I thought that I'd do that for them. Um, here I got the grunt and I was hoping that it was pink like it said, showed on the picture. So as you can see, it's kind of pinkish. Um, but it's not. It is red. And from those Hornet sets, I already got a bunch of the red figures, so I don't really care for the red pretty much at all. But this is a different color in itself. And what's kind of cool is they have the little um, black head. I can get a better look on that. Yeah. That's okay. Um, so, so during Christmas time, we got a bunch of, um, I got a whole bunch of country stuff to build up my uh, my collection because I really didn't have anything. And if I was going to start doing stop motions, I was wanting to have some stuff. So now I got a whole bunch of stuff. And later on, I can show you what I have. I pretty much have all the ODST sets because I really wanted those. Um... But there's a few that I still don't have, and it's from those uh, plastic crappy drop pods. And I have the black one, which I've seen a lot of people do stop motion with, with that figure, but it's because I don't think they ha were able to find the other ones. But I think there's a thing on eBay right now that the guy is selling some, but I don't know if I trust it too much. It has like 30 watchers on it, and... It just looks like it's kind of shady, and plus with the whole thing with China and the virus and all that, I don't really think that I want to buy from China right now. It seems all kind of kind of shady. Oh, looks like I got the the yellow figure again, as you can see. So nothing too special yet. Um, But, uh, I don't know when I'm going to start doing the stop motion. I need to buy, uh, some more lights and stuff. Just haven't had time with that. I just paid a phone bill and that took a lot out because I switched carriers and broke the contract, which I shouldn't really have done, but... I didn't want to spend $300 a month on phone and car insurance and all that shit because it was racking up to be like pretty much at the end of the month they were charging me two times every once in a while and it'd be like 600 out of nowhere and it's like fuck, fuck that. So I don't want to do that. So I just got a free phone from AT&T by joining... Um, one of my fr uh, friends, and uh, we've been doing that, and now my phone bill's $20 a month, and that's because of the service, but I have a free phone now. Um, and I'm going to do my filming with the phone, because the phone can get a 4K resolution, but... Um, it's just kind of hard to do it with the phone, and I don't have really a tripod at the moment. I'm, I'm using some makeshift thing right now, and um, it's all I really got right now. But uh, the phone works pretty well, and you can get a bunch of different apps and stuff to mimic different types of um, effects and stuff. And, um, that's kind of cool. 
Um, you guys see here, they kind of painted the, the assault rifle. It has like a black wash effect on the gun. And then in the middle, it's all black, but the rest is gray, but it's like a gray black wash. That's kind of interesting. I think that's even with the, not the SMG. The SMG is just plain. So I got two grunts and um, a bunch of Spartans. I was really hoping that I thought I would get an Elite and maybe just one Brute. Um, uh, but, you know, the Spartans are good because when I do new more paints and stuff, um, I'll have more figures to do them. Um, I've been really trying to collect a lot of the female characters because they have a different body and it's just a whole different style and they're pretty hard to come by and they're really rare to find. And if you ever want to make girl figures and stuff, it's good to have pretty much every single one because then you have a better, um, I guess you'd say palette of armor pieces and stuff because the women bodies or whatever are very, they're, built different so a man chest can't really work well with a female even though it can still go on it'll just wobble around and just doesn't fit right and just doesn't look right so i feel like for continuity it's a little bit better to have the parts that fit together and make it snug and a lot of those pieces are mostly the halo 4 or halo 5 style and it's not really that good to me, because I don't like the Halo 4 or 5 art style. But you just have to make do with what you got. Um, because if you watch my, my, one of my first videos or whatever, it's about um, those customs I made, and two of them were females. The red one was a female, and then the bluish pink one was a female. Um... And then there was that one Spartan that I made that I was pretty happy about. And it was the ODST one. Because I took that from like a character that I make in Reach. And I just basically turned it into a heat, uh, to, into a heavy. And he looks pretty good with pretty much any weapon. So I'm pretty happy with that figure. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. And I really, I really made a video about that. Because I wanted to basically show that, that I made that thing first before somebody made it and then later on because i don't really care you know if somebody makes something before me or whatever but it's the fact that it, i really like that figure that i messed with and if i did a stop motion or something and somebody else did the same thing i didn't want somebody to say oh you're just copying this guy you know but so that's why i made that video just to show that hey you know I came with this on my own, and I don't know if anyone else has, but here's a video to show that I did it, and hopefully that, you know, I won't get um, bugged about it, so I don't know. I was just really happy with that figure, so I basically made the whole video just for that figure, and then I did that green screen thing, and that was kind of stupid. Um, I guess I could show you the... The aliens I got, I guess. I took out the slime and put that somewhere else because it's not really needed. I got this green one and then this one, and I don't think it glows. We tried. It didn't really glow that very... I don't think it glows at all. Even though it looks like it should. And then it comes with two of these little alien things. One to go on like a head, and then one just to be like a crawler thing. Um, so yeah, that's the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, sorry this is kind of long or whatever, but I'm going to edit this and make it a little bit more summed up, hopefully, for you guys. But I hope you just enjoy my talking and stuff because I just want to voice. I just want to put my voice out there because, you know, not a lot of people put their voices out and talk about it. I know you can find stuff on Reddit or 
on the Constructs website and stuff, but it's just the the fan base is kind of small. I mean, there's a lot of people that are into it, but it, it's the community is kind of small. I don't know if there's somewhere else, but I don't know. I just thought it'd be cool to be making videos and talking about things that I find out and stuff. And hopefully I helped you guys out with some of the stuff and where to buy these things and stuff. Um, and if you have any other questions, um, just comment down below and I'm sure I'll respond or try to. Um, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.